Hi, I'm Sarah. My husband Joan, son Connor, myself, and our dog Bella are exploring Alberta with our RV, and we want to share our experiences with you. Ah, uh, music festivals. When I think about them, I usually think of folk fests or big ones like Coachella or South by Southwest. But the truth is, there's a lot of small music festivals all across the continent, with many of them being set up for RVers. So we thought, why not see what it's all about? Full disclosure, Arcan is a sponsor of Wayne's Dock, so naturally it made sense for us to check that one out. It takes place each year on the Labor Day weekend and features over 30 bands with a wide variety of musical styles such as rock, folk, bluegrass, country, and more. The festival is hosted by the historic and colorful Last Chance Saloon, a charming eatery and bar attached to the Rose Deer Hotel which dates all the way back to 1913. There is ample camping space on the land all around the saloon that they make available each year, although you will want to book your space early as it will fill up. We tucked our RV in a group space with some friends and family that was just a couple minutes walk from the festival site, which made it easy to go back and forth as much as needed. It was also just across the street from a hiking path that wound its way up to the top of the foothills, which of course was irresistible to Connor and John. They scrambled their way up one morning with some cousins discovering a frisbee golf course, a low-flying airplane, and some incredible views. The biggest draw, of course, was the festival itself, and it did not disappoint. There were a number of merchant stalls where you could buy everything from t-shirts, hats, and dresses, to artwork, pottery, and even hot sauce. The saloon sold hot food and cold drinks, and right next door you could choose from over a dozen flavors of ice cream, which that weekend was definitely a blessing, as it was hot. There was a hot wing eating contest, a talent show, and then of course, there was the music. With three stages and performances from afternoon straight through till midnight, there was something for everyone at all times of the day. This was Connor's first music festival and it was a pure delight to see him caught up in the live atmosphere and dancing his little heart out. It was a great way to discover some fantastic bands and entertainers from across Canada and enjoy countless styles of music that we wouldn't have had the chance to hear otherwise. I wanted to talk to Paula Sutherland, chief organizer of Wayne's Dock, to learn a little bit more about the festival, but apparently running a music festival isn't enough for her and she decided to get married that same weekend. Fortunately, I was able to catch up with her later on the phone and find out a little bit more. Wayne Stock started one day. Dave and I were just tossing the idea around about having a music festival. And he said, if you build it, they will come. And yeah, I built it and they come. We started it 2014, I believe. Well, it's grown significantly. When we first started uh, Wayne Stock, we had our backstage. That year, it had torrential rains, and I mean torrential. Yeah. So, of course, you you know put your tickets out for sale, and it's brand new to everybody, and they don't really know what it is. So, you sell no tickets. I think we sold 29 tickets. In the beginning, we did nothing but lose money hand over fist. And, of course, it poured rain, poured and poured and poured. So, then we had to put up a big tarp out back and it was probably the best year I'd ever had there not maybe so much for Dave because we nicknamed him stick boy and when it was really raining we'd send him to tarp town so he'd have to go out with a big stick to empty off the tarps <laughs> oh it was just so much fun and so eventually everybody because it really did rain too hard performed inside and you couldn't move like you could not move inside the saloon and then we realized, oh, this is, we've got to do this again. This was amazing. Yeah. So then it just slowly grew and grew and grew. Yeah. How, how many camping spots do you have? Oh, I'd say almost a hundred. We can put a fair pile in. We fill up normally, you know, it's like, it's not a difficult task. I've already got our social media um, gang on it and we'll put a post out. I would say beginning of March, because we'll do early bird tickets as well to make sure you get your camping booked in. Most times when our festival is done, which we are really enjoying, is people talk to us afterwards and say, I want to come again next year, please rebook my spot. For those of you who don't know, which is pretty much everybody, Wayne is only 10 minutes from Drumheller. On our way out, we made a stop to cool off in the fountains and check out the big T-Rex. All in all, Wayne's Talk was a fantastic music festival for the whole family. We'll certainly be back. If you have a chance, you should definitely check it out. Happy camping!